Hey guys, this is Mark from Big Mountain Studio, and today I'm going to do something new. I'm going to start off a new series to give you guys storyboard tips, because I realize that there's so many developers out there who hate storyboards, and you know what? I used to be one of those guys too. <laughs> I used to hate storyboards, because I didn't understand so many things about them. I thought it should just be like quick and easy, you know, like going into you know your favorite graphics program and putting something together. Well, it's not. There's a lot of hidden things in there that I had to learn to make working with storyboards a lot easier. I, I was slowly becoming one of those people who went totally to code to do all my UI. But as I started learning the storyboards more, I started coming back to storyboards. And now I'm so good at storyboards that I can prototype a whole application within minutes, you know, under an hour and show the client. And it is so easy. I don't even have to write a line of code. And so I want to get you guys to that point. So you're so comfortable with storyboards that you can do anything in them rapidly. Okay, good, but it's going to take some tips because it's going to take a lot of practice. There's a lot of things that, that I have to teach you so you can get to that point where you can get really good. So let's get started. Okay, the first tip I want to teach you this week so you can practice it is how to control where these controls fall in on your storyboard. And what I mean by that is like you notice if you hover over the storyboard, it turns blue. Well, why is it turning blue? It's turning blue because it's telling you, it's giving you a signal that it's going to be dropped into a container. And which container is it being dropped into? This view right here, this root view. And so you notice the whole storyboard turns blue. That's because this view is the whole size of the storyboard. But you notice other things turn blue too. And these things are also containers or other UI views that this label can go into. So when I hover over here, it means it's going to be dropped into as you can see that that text right there is going to be dropped into the the UI view that I call the card which is right here and if I hover over this one oh you can't see it let me just scroll up here a little bit it's going to be dropped into what's called the menu what I call the menu UI view so how do I prevent it maybe I just want to put it right on top maybe I don't want to put it inside of this this UI view well first drop it on the root view and then if I drag it over hold down the command key and now you notice things don't turn blue anymore that's because when I drop them they're going to stay right on right in the root directory here on the on the main view I could you know easily just drop them and have them go back into uh, a new view so now you see this label is in the card but I can drag it out and then hold command and put it right back on top and oh yeah I gotta drag it out first but now I can drag it and then hold down command and I can drag it anywhere and it's still going to be right on the, the root view here. That's your first tip I'm giving you. How to prevent things from going accidentally going into views. It took me a while to learn this because what I used to do is I would try to put it on here. You know, I, I try to put it like, you know, maybe I wanted it on the above this this little card here, the, this UI view. And I would have to keep dragging it out. And then it would reposition it. And then I'd have to like move it back. And then it would go right back into this UI view. And then I'd have to reposition it. I'm like, oh my god, there's got to be an easier way. There is. Just hold down command. And then now, well, first of all, we got to get it into the right view. So let's get it into the root view. And now I can hold down command. And I can just position it wherever I want. And it's going to stay on that root view without going into a sub view. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps out. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more tips because I have a whole list of tips to teach you guys <laughs> how to better work with storyboards and make it less painful for you. Okay, if you like this video, hit the like button down below and consider subscribing so you can get notifications on all the other tips that I'm going to give you on working with storyboards. I'm only going to be coming out with them every Monday so you guys can practice it throughout the week and get a little bit more comfortable and gain a little bit more control over storyboards. And also, if you have any friends that are in that on the same boat as you where you totally gave up on storyboards, share this with them too because I want to get them and help them so they can rapidly use storyboards to prototype their apps without having to write any code. All right, thank you guys.